G'day guys, welcome back. Uh, another little cloud pour for you. Same as the one that I did just before, um, but I'm just gonna pour it, <clears throat> excuse me, I just had my lunch <laughs> and the coffee. Um, just gonna pour it a little bit differently. Just gonna put my grubby gloves back on. I didn't have any of the phthalo blue left, so I've added this one, turquoise blue. Check out my video previous to this one so you know what I'm, I'm talking about. Uh, I'm not going to go through the whole recipe. I will see how we go if I've got time. But um, normally for a cloud pour, I use either the satin enamel or the milk paint. And there was a lovely lady on my Facebook group called Laurie Cleary, and she actually put these two together. And she had a lovely pour, so I thought, well, I've got both of these. I'll give them a go. So I've used those with my uh, white Artist Loft Flow Acrylic and Flow Troll. But as I said, check out the previous video for all the recipe and everything. I'm not going to go through it all again. <clears throat> I'll put the little, you know, the little letter I with a circle around it in the top right hand corner of the video um, it'll come up during the video somewhere and that'll actually link you back to the other video uh, so you can see exactly how I did it okie dokes um, and the recipe and the ratios and everything so I've got more white I've got some that's the last of my phthalo blue I poured some flow troll into the empty bottle and gave it a good shake up I don't know if there's any more in there. I should have left it upside down actually to get the rest of the paint out. Um, yeah, and it was it was all all gone. I added just a little blob of black to make it a little bit darker. So that's that one. Actually, I should have left it upside down, shouldn't I? And then I could have got every last little bit out. Stayed. Okay, so that's the phthalo blue. Uh, that's the turquoise blue. I've got dioxazine purple. I've got extreme sheen pink tourmaline. 24k gold in Americana decor. And I think that's that's it my colors <laughs> there we go that'll do I wanted to get the last little bit out so the last video I did two pours the first one I poured from up high into a puddle of white and it just mixed churned so much that I got quite a lot of mud and then I poured over the top of it and I did a ring pour it was okay, but, you know, I got the rings. So this time I'm going to just do a dirty pour straight onto a dry canvas. I'm not going to put the white down. It's just because the white, there's so much white in the cup and then the extra white there it, um, sort of dilutes the painting um, and you get quite a lot of sort of pale um, pastel-y colours. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put that there. I don't want the pink next to the gold because that gives me uh, like an orange tone. I don't mind it, but yeah, keep away from it. So the Liquitex Basics have been mixed three parts flow troll to one part Liquitex. All right, I'm going to start layering um, all the other paints. Yeah, as I said, just watch that video. And um, it will tell you how I mixed all the paints. I might put, I don't know, a little bit more. I don't know how much white to put in. I don't want the white to take over. And my gold. I'm not going to put as much white in this time. I might just put like three layers in. Because as I said, you know, it was really quite pale that last one. Didn't want it to be too pale. I want lots of blue. So 
So you're going to get your cloud formation basically from your white and from your gold. Okay, that should be enough. A little bit of paint left over. And we'll see how that goes. I'm not going to pour into a puddle. I am going to just keep that white to put around the outside though. Right, now I'm not gonna I'm still gonna pour into the middle, but I'm not gonna pour from as up high because you know it just churns so much. So let's see how we go this time. Just pouring into the middle, but not from quite so high, and I might go a little bit slower too. support that cup just turn it around a little bit just so that I get some different colors coming through and then I'll just do a little little ring pour at the end there Hopefully that will look pretty. Catch the drips. Okay. Well, that's looking very nice and bright, which is what I wanted. See, it's not nearly as muddy, is it, as that first one where I poured into the white and also from much higher up. So just churned and then I got all that extra white mixed in there and I lost my lost my brightness a little bit I felt so just do it this way I don't see why we need to pour into a puddle of white when I do my pearl pours I pour into a puddle of gold because I want the pearls to react actually I must do another pearl pour hey it's been ages I get sidetracked. I see something that someone else has done. I go, oh, I want to do that. <laughs> I get sidetracked, but I do want to do another pearl pull. If I can remember how to do them, that is. Okay, let's spread that white around. They always go off to the side here. My table's obviously not flat. I have chopped it up on that side. And it's so heavy to do. I was kind of lifting it with one hand and I was trying to put a popsicle stick under the other end. That killed me. Right, let's torch. All right, if I can turn my heat gun on. That bit of blue there in the middle hopefully that stays because I don't want to lose that Actually, I should have torched earlier shouldn't I while I was covering the edges okay so we're getting some nice puffiness happening there what did you think about me sort of turning the cup as I was pouring? Do you like that or do you just prefer it just to come out just in the, you know, one side the same as the other side and then that might be plain, that might be plain. Oh, you guys know what I mean, don't you? <laughs> right, let's go to each corner but not over the corner. Actually, we'll do this one first because we're closest here. Just kiss that corner a little bit. That just helps... The paint rub up against it the other paint also helps in the creation of the clouds so we'll do that a couple of times so back into the middle change direction see it's just sliding easily over the top of that white there come back straight across to the other side back in the middle okay yeah I don't know about me you know doing that and I we'll see see what happens 
I don't even know if I've got enough matte paint to go again, but I think once I've done this, I'll have cured my need to do cloud pours again. <laughs> it's been a while. Oh, last year, I think I used to do cloud pours, but it's been a while, that's for sure. Over the edge, back again, back to the middle, change directions. I don't want to lose all those big white puffy clouds. Keep a little bit of blue on the corner there, I think, would be nice. Look at that, we've got pink at one end and blue at the other end. Let's see if we can... Actually, I'll get rid of some of that gold there. I don't like that on the end. Move the paint to where that gold is. And over the corner. And back. Well, it's not exactly a cloud pour. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it doesn't look like clouds. It looks like some kind of weird storm happening. <laughs> I've got big clouds though, haven't I? Oh, you do have big clouds. Now, this is too white, I think. I think that's too white there for me. Let me just see if I can get some of that off. It's just a bit too much. Don't mind a little bit of it, but that's better, hey? That's better balanced. It's just too much. I don't want to stretch it too much that way because then all these clouds will be overstretched. So let's just leave it there. They will develop a little bit further. It's really interesting, isn't it? Wow. Got a lot more blue in it this time. The navy really worked well and the clouds that I do have are quite big and puffy so that's really nice. Now I'm going to torch again and then I'll we'll leave it for a few minutes. I'll put you on pause and uh, we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Let it develop a little bit more and uh, I'll come back to you and we'll see what happens. Yeah, I just don't know about whether or not I should have turned the cup as I was pouring as I'm torching, I'm getting lots of little cells popping up from underneath. Look at that, little sprinkling, little snowflakes. Are they snowflakes or are they raindrops? <clears throat> I love this little bit of pink here. Actually, the more I look at it, the more I like it. Let's hope that that little bit of turquoise there doesn't get lost. Yeah, I, I just don't know. Um, that's the only thing I'm not sure about whether because I've moved the cup like that I'm getting like that shape there that shape there getting that sort of a shape there have got my little bit of a ring in the middle there lots of cells around the outside or they're not cells but lots of um, clouds and things around the outside there I'll just put you on pause for a few minutes. It's the lights off. What do you think? It's a bit more dramatic with the lights off. I actually probably don't need to wait a few minutes. I've, it's been a few minutes anyway since I've been chatting to you. Now someone tell me. Lights on? Lights off. That's on? That's off. There we go. And that's on. What do you think? Off, on. I can do this all day, you guys. <laughs> no one's answering me. <gasps> okay, I'm going to go off. Now, gee, it's getting very busy, isn't it? Look at all this down here growing. I'm just going to take you straight down for a close-up. Sure is cloudy. Wow, look at that. Love that. Look at those clouds. Oh my gosh. Lost a bit of my pink. It's always the way, isn't it? The last one, I lost my gold. Now the gold's showing up. Um, but I lost my pink. Look at these down here. Trousers. Wow. 
lots and lots of clouds as well as little tiny ones. I guess if I didn't torch, I wouldn't get those little little bubbly ones up afterwards. Do you like those? Those little guys there that that happened when I torched. So do you do you like those? Or should I have just left it and not torched again? I love that. That pink bit there. That down there looks like an octopus tentacle. <laughs> that gold's really pretty there. I don't know if you can see it shining. And then look at the white, how it just wisps away. It forms that sort of cloud against the gold and then it just wisps away in the background. It's a snowstorm, isn't it? Look at that. Really like this one, you guys. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what to think of it, but I really like it. <laughs> um, I've got a little bit of paint left. Maybe I can go again on a smaller one um, and just not do the turn of the cup. So I've done a few, haven't I? The first one I poured onto a white puddle from way too high it'll churn too much ba bum fail the next one um i did a ring pour over the top of it still in there drying um it's very pale probably a little bit too much white i think we'll keep it for now anyway this one certainly more cloudy sky looking but the only thing that's throwing me is that gold, how it's all kind of interwoven into there. So let's go again. I've got a little bit of paint over there, uh, just on a small one. And um, I won't move the cup and we'll see how the difference is, okay? All right, stay there. I'll be back in a sec. Don't move. 